Deloitte predicts that in 2013, in many countries, especially in urban areas, we're going to start seeing a spectrum crisis, uh, network congestion. For example, in the United States, one study has suggested that there will be a spectrum shortage of 274 megahertz of spectrum, and that's off of a base of U.S. spectrum already allocated of only 547, so it's almost a 50% a additional shortage. It's all about supply and demand. So many people want to access these networks through their, their, their cell phones, their smartphones, their tablets, even their uh, modems on their, uh, on their PCs, that there's just more demand than there is supply. So in terms of the user experience with a spectrum shortage, what do we feel? What do we notice? Well, it's sort of the opposite. I mean, many people picture it as like a blackout, like when there's a, a tree knocks down your power line, you give no more electricity. It isn't like that. It's almost exactly like highways. When you've got too many people on the road at the same time, the primary effect isn't that you can't get on the road at all, it's that the speed drops. With all these people out there accessing 3.5G three, three and, and especially LTE networks, as the speeds drop, users are going to primarily be looking at, yes, some dropped calls, yes, some inability to access a network, but primarily, instead of getting LTE speeds that are 10 or 20 megabits per second, they're going to be looking at speeds that are more like 1, 2, or 3 megabits, speeds that still allow voice but aren't terribly good for browsing, and, and, and web video would be right out. So there is a shortage of spectrum, but can't we, can't, can't the government just make more spectrum? Not really. The spectrum is essentially the laws of physics of the universe. It's the bands between roughly 600 megahertz and about 3,500 3, megahertz. And, and that's all there is that has the right kind of characteristics for sending wireless data. Why can't we just make more? Well, it's there. Governments can make more over time through auctions or forcing certain people to give up spectrum, but that takes years, sometimes even decades to occur. So although we can over time maybe find bits here and bits there, it's unlikely to be fast enough to catch up with user demand. Next, there's various technologies that have up until now been quite good at getting more and more what we call spectral efficiency, using the same amount of spectrum and being able to send more data over it. Those technologies have begun to reach the point of diminishing returns, where they are no longer able to generate gains in spectral efficiency faster than demand for wireless services have gone up. Given all of this, what can governments do to alleviate the shortage of spectrum? Some of it is to accelerate that process of spectrum release, spectrum auctions, simplify the rules, some fairly obvious stuff. Um, there's some other things they can do. Larger spectrum blocks would be handy. Up until now, they've tended to be quite fragmented, which makes it tougher for the carriers to provide high-speed services. Spectrum sharing, can network share spectrum? That would help a lot. One of the minor ones, it feels like a small point, is uh, getting permits for towers. In some geographies, uh, wait times with appeals and everything can even be years. But even in areas where it's not that bad, the release of, of permission for a new tower has gone from sort of a couple of weeks to six or eight weeks. Every little bit matters, and accelerating some of those processes would help. So there seem to be quite finite caps on spectrum and what you can do about it. So what's the bottom line, though, for consumers? Well, I started off talking about supply and demand. There's a thing back in economics that you study, which is when you have a scarce resource, the single best way of allocating that scarce resource is a mechanism called pricing. Over time, I think that it's extremely likely that carriers will start pricing in such a way that people realize the value of that spectrum, of speed, of the ability to use a network in an urban area at a certain time of day with a guaranteed level of service. Now, all of that's a bit of a problem. Users hate complex pricing plans. They want it as simple as possible. But in the battle between me as a user having access to the speed I want, it's probably going to be fairly similar to toll roads. Nobody likes paying them, but when you want a lot of speed, sometimes people are willing to pay that. So there's lots of bidding for a finite quantity of spectrum, not just amongst the mobile operators, but also from other industries such as TV. And there's like to be a tussle over who gets that spectrum, and probably we're going to see the market come into effect, so whoever pays most gets the spectrum.